button. Fuck yeah, right, recording now. Boom, so I have got two missions left and then I've finished the fight. Fuck yeah, let's carry on. And I am day drunk from wine and whiskey from recording fact theme videos today, so this should be interesting. Let's go, let's go rescue Cortana. I will lose any unsaved progress from my previous mission. I was playing it with some friends earlier. They they watched these videos and wanted to play some Halo. So we did. So I should be better in this one. All things considered. But let's see, shall we? Oh yeah, those load times. It's not how this is a remastered version on a console that is uh, massively more powerful. We've still got a load. Oh, look at that concept at that. That is so obviously just a big old JPEG that I just put the fucking banshee over the top of. It's so obvious. Like, look at the difference. Like, you can watch if we're watching this back later. Just go back a couple of seconds and look at the difference between how this level looks and how that sky looked. That was so obviously a piece of art. They just drag and dropped Master Chief's banshee over the top of. Oh yeah, let's go, Master Chief. Oh. You know, his feet made a weird squishy noise there. Oh, God, a bullshit on his feet. Oh, no, not this mission. No. I refuse, I reject this reality of just the flood being everywhere. At least give me a cool gun. Yeah, shotgun. <sighs> At least I get fire grenades. Oh, man. <laughs> he got, he got like four feet in. And he came in completely naked with a single grenade. Oh, on this gun. I'll take that. No. I'm just, I'm just not about this life. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Really? I don't want to fight you, Flood. Neither does that one, by the way. No. No. <laughs> the Flood's so annoying. It does so much damage. And it's hard to shoot. So I'll just leave. Luckily, you can just walk past it for the most part. She's quite good. Oh man, some elites didn't make it either. Oh no. You know what, it's time. No, I want to dual wheel something. You better have a gun I can dual wield. Fuck yeah, let's go. Oh. That was actually more like useful than I thought it'd be. I take back all the bullshit. Like all the dunking I've tried to do on Covenant Weaponry throughout this playthrough. That is actually massively more useful at taking out flood forms than I actually thought. The elites just never thought to carry two of them once. Oh, go away, grave mind. So as if having like Cortana constantly stopping the game and chatting to you wasn't annoying enough. Now I've got to listen to this dipshit. Great. Thanks a bunch. Can I continue like shooting your many like floody children with my dual plasma rifles now? It's kind of annoying as well, you never actually get to fight Grave Mine. There are no, like, bosses in this game. Other than, like, the levels themselves, I guess, count as bosses. But you never fight Grave Mind. You never fight, the, like, the Prophet of Regret or Truth. You never fight, like, a giant vehicle. You just keep walking through the levels and just shoot things till they die, and then you kill them in a cutscene. So, as much as I love this game, I do get annoyed about that. So like, bearing in mind Grave Mind as a villain has just been set. Oh god, Master Chief. Oh, you are not lucky. <laughs> you are not lucky. <laughs> that is not looking good for you, Master Chief. Like, Grave Mind is set up as a villain, I think, in the previous mission. Like, he has a single mission of build up. And then you confront him in this, and then just leave. I don't actually know what happens to him. I'm pretty sure he just gets glassed from orbit and dies. So. I'm, oh, fuck's sake. If the Flood weren't annoying enough, now they have guns. There's no rhyme or reason to the guns that they carry. They just randomly pick up whatever the fuck they want. What a great enemy. I will point out that um, while I'm dual firing these plasma pistols, I am getting all kinds of vibration on my crotch. So I'm going to lift up the controller a little bit because I don't need that kind of footage floating around the internet, to be fair. I have enough problem. Oh, go away. Just just go up the fuck off. Oh. Really? It's kind of disappointing as well, like, there's no, like, death scene for getting killed by the Flood. I would kind of, like, like to see some, like, Dead Space-style death scenes 
where the Flood completely and utterly take over Master Chief, and then you get to see, just for a brief second, just a Flood-powered Master Chief, because that would be like the most broken shit in the universe. Go away, Flood. Go away. See, this is why they're annoying, because they just do that. They just, like, clump towards you and I'll hit you at once. That, fr that does not make a good enemy. In my opinion, at least. I thought this. It's like, as well, taking like four shotgun blasts to the face. There we go. Burn. Fire makes everything better. I remember playing through this with a friend of mine, and every single time, he loved the fire weaponry, and he would like go out of his way to get the fire weaponry. To the point where if I picked it up, he would shoot me in the back of the head with a shotgun, say the words, and they'll stick with me forever. What killed me? He'd say, Carl, I'm sorry, you're too injured to continue this fight. And then would blow me away with a shotgun or like a gun butt to the back of the head and steal my fire weapons. So I learned to just stop picking up fire weaponry. Because it was just the easiest way for me to immediately get killed. So all that would happen is I would die, I would see my corpse on the floor and my friend would say, I'm sorry Carl, you were too injured to continue. Even though I wasn't, if anything I was like the best equipped for that like fight ever. But it's like, no. Carl, the fire weapons belong to me. He was he was that dick in Battlefield who, like, if you were playing Battlefield, like people who played it will know, if you got in the helicopter or the jet and he was in control of the server, he would boot you from the server and send you a message saying that's my helicopter. He was that guy. He was the dude who just like stayed at the spawn waiting for like the jet to like spawn and he'd just take that. Oh, fuck's sake. This level's so shit. I hate this level. Go away. Go away. No. You know, lots of explosives. Fuck off. Mm. They're waiting for me as well. I don't like that. I don't like just looking at a hill and just seeing various forms of floodlight. We're going to get you, Carl. We're going to get you. Because I can tell. Like, if they could say words, they'd be, come on. Come fight us. Are you scared? It's like, the answer is yes. I am quite scared of flood. I don't like the flood. As you've probably witnessed already, they randomly kill you for no reason and it's not fun. It's very difficult to tell what weapon the Flood's wielding, and every now and again you will just get shot in the back of the head by one who just so happens to have a shotgun. Every now and again one will be carrying like a brute mauler, and they'll walk up behind you and just blow you away, and it's not great. It gives me flashbacks, man, I don't need that. <laughs> okay, I mean, that was pretty funny. Now, that one particular Flood died pretty hard. Needler. Best weapon in Halo. It's so cool. It's like the most fabulous weapon because it just calls you like a giant pink explosion. This should realistically be the greatest weapon for taking out the flood because it just causes constant explosions. Okay, so let's go. Go away. It's so fucking annoying. I've got one. One needle left. No. I'm, just not, I'm not dealing with this shit today. Where is it? There we go. Oh, that's a tough choice. I'll take the flamethrower. No. Oh, don't tell me I've done it. There we go. No! <laughs> I've rolled over the thing. There we go. So now I'm at least somewhat equipped to deal with the bullshit that is the flood. I really hope they don't run towards me when they get set on fire. That'd be really bad game design if the enemy was like programmed to do that. Especially considering that turrets make you actually walk slower. Oh god, what am I getting shot from? Do you know my favourite thing about playing a game where you can like, control like, this unbeatable god king known as Master Chief? So you have to like keep ducking behind cover because enemies you can't really see because they're the same colour as the environment are shooting you. I'm not a fan of the flood. You can probably tell. I'm going to bitch about the flood for the rest of this level because that's just what I do. Go away. I appreciate how the flamethrower has physics though, that's quite cool. So you can use the flamethrowers like to blow things around. Oh no, I'm so fucking dead. Also the checkpoint on this level is just so bad. Because you're constantly surrounded by enemies, and if you're surrounded by an enemy, or if there's enemies nearby, you don't get a checkpoint. Because there's enemies all the time, you don't ever get a checkpoint. Because like, the game always says, well you're not technically safe, so we can't give you a checkpoint here. And it just makes it so... Grating, like legendary mode, this level's like the worst. No one wants to play this game on legendary mode. This level on legendary is just like, no, for this. It's just running forward and. Oh god. 
Can we come on? We get Master Chief's figure in a whip. Can we kite him? No, I can't crouch. I can't teabag the world while I'm doing that. I'm forced to watch. Now this level legendary is the fucking worst. Especially the bit that's coming up when I rescue Cortana. Spoilers, I'll rescue Cortana. And you just get faced with like the most flood you have ever seen. For fuck's sake. At least I got a drink. I think Master Chief can piss inside that sim. I bet he can. It's like spacesuits you can piss inside of. I bet, like Mjolnir armor, you can absolutely piss inside of. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of like weird super high tech system in place where it turns the piss into a weapon. Like it powers your hydraulics or some shit. So Master Chief is in this thing for a very long time and you never see him take it off. Except for at the end of Halo 4 and then Halo 1. But he only takes the helmet off. And in Halo 1 he doesn't actually take his helmet off, he just looks like he does. Actually, this is true, you can go look it up. Actually if you want to put this back on YouTube I'll put the clip in because it's fucking great. In Halo 1, or if you complete the game, you get to the end and you see Master Chief take his helmet off just as the camera pans up so you can't see what his face looks like. I think people on the PC version thought, okay, so what does his face actually look like? And they went, okay, so they went into debug mode. And they actually found out if you Master Chief takes his helmet off and underneath his helmet, it's just another helmet. It's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. <laughs> and it looks fucking brilliant. I love it. So he takes his helmet off and underneath it's just a secondary helmet. Oh, oh, that Lee. What's that one doing? He died so hard. He's just floating. Oh, there's not much to talk about in this level because I'm just walking. Ooh, no. <laughs> I was tempted then I realised I've got a rocket launcher and I'll probably keep that. Because you'll see why. Oh man, I'm walking so slow. Oh wow, another big hole to fall down when I get surrounded by enemies. I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> How far do some of these elites get? I wonder what was the purpose of what these elites are doing. Can I push this forward? No. No. Go away. Go away, Flood. Go away. No. Go. It's, it's so frustrating. Fuck this. There you go. I'm just going to run. I'm going to run and hope. It's the two things I've got. No, he's dead. Please let me remember where to go. Because I don't want to fight the flood. Oh god, he nearly killed me in one gun, but... No. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Master Chief, he's got this. Mm. Nailed it. Oh, you want some too? How? You all saw that. I stuck him. And the grenade just didn't work. That's some next level tech. No enemy in this game has ever done that. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. You all saw the plasma going to hit him and just not work. How do I fight this enemy? Come on. Yeah. I knew it was here. Why haven't the Covenant got a flamethrower? I bet a Covenant flamethrower would be awesome because it would probably like, find like, pink flames. No, no. Because the, the, uh, the Flood, they have a nasty habit of when you set them on fire. They'll run up on fire and gun butt you. And the gun butt combined with the damage from the fire is usually enough to kill you on one hit. And this weapon's practically useless against the game then. I have no sticky grenades. So I had no choice. Just throw grenades at everything. So I need to save those two rockets. Ooh, that's got a sting. Can we just say how mean of a spike grenade? It's a grenade that just like fires out searing hot spikes at like 300 miles an hour. I think the best tactic to do with a spike grenade is uh, the spikes bounce off any surface. If you throw down a bubble shield and then throw down a spike grenade, the spike grenade will just turn the bubble shield into like this orb of death. And that was one of my favourite things to do online. It barely ever worked, but it was just so fun. Throw a bubble shield down and throw a spike grenade down and watch someone walk into it. And they're just like basically stepping into your area of supremacy. Oh, can I get him? 
That was terrible. And I've just released more flood. Master Chief is not doing well. Back away, so I'm gonna jump now. No. I'll just, I'll, like, just, what do you do? What an annoying enemy. It doesn't even have a head. He doesn't have that instinctual weak point that all enemies make. No! Go away. I'm going to crouch here and just hope. Go away. Go away. No. I'm safe inside my orb. My half orb. Alright, let's go. Oh, you want some? Yes! Come on, I'm so close. Please tell me that's a checkpoint. Yeah, you can, no, fuck that. I'm not fighting this. There's no point. Like, why would I ever fight the flood when I can run past the flood? No! Why would you do this, Grave Mind? This is part of his tactic. This should absolutely happen midway through a firefight. I'd appreciate it more if that's when it happened, but it just seems to happen when, like, okay, I just made it out of this really annoying firefight. Now slow the game down. Because one thing players love when you're playing video games is having, like, control wrested away from you. Like, what, what even hit me there? What even are these things? Giant fucking crab monster. Get back! No! Get back here. I don't know what you are, but it's dead. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, poor little Master Chief. Oh, luckily, the one thing the Flood can't do is sick or some parkour. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I dodged that. No. <laughs> No, go away. I could dodge. I can do parkour. Master Chief can do parkour and avoid this. It's the one thing a flood can't do. They're really bad if you like jump through the environment. But now I am completely lost and I don't know where to go. Because I've just got myself all flipped up, turned upside down. I'm presuming it's where the enemy's coming from. So I want to head towards that. <sighs> dodge. So dodge that one. Dodge that one. Oh, fuck this. I'm taking this. Go away. I don't need that. I'd rather have a gun that fires. And is this, this is the direction I was going in. I, I don't know where they want me to go. I'm so, I'm so confused. Please give me, like, send me a sign. Like, Halo Jesus. Oh, God, send me a sign. I immediately get killed. This level fucking sucks. Okay, so now I'm walking through them, I'll know. So I'm presuming it's up there. So I'm just going to walk straight up there because... F oh, for fuck's sake, go away. Go away. No. Getting angsty, man. Oh, thank God. Alright, I'll turn invisible. Okay, so I get the feeling. That's where I'm supposed to... Alright, I've seen it. I've spotted it. I've cracked it, lads. Let's go. So I'm invisible so these things won't shoot. Go away. Go away! Fuck off! I'm saving this invisibility now, because I know what's coming up. Leave me alone. Go away! Fuck off! No! 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 Leave me alone! Leave me alone. This game is the worst! This level sucks so much ass! Oh! People might think, oh, just shoot them. Look how many there are, and they don't have heads. The tactic, you spend the entire game, like, learning and ref... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> learning to use to like, put down your enemy does not work against this single enemy type. It's why Halo 4 and 5 suck so much balls. Because the Prometheans are the worst enemy type in the game. Because they don't take damage from headshots. Are they get killed by headshots? Yes, of course they get killed by headshots. All enemies do, but they don't react, and they have such weird physiology, they don't appear to take damage from it. So when you shoot them in the head, they just continue walking forward in a straight line. So none of your bullets or like gun butts or grenades have any apparent impact, which completely removes from the game. So the one thing I'll say about the flood is at least they like they do fall apart real fucking good. Right, where's that other one? I want the other invisibility. Or can I, can I not pick up invisibility while I can go for this then? I'm not fighting this. I can't pick up invisibility to become invisible while I'm invisible. But I can just walk straight past these enemies. Oh, and now I'm invisible again. <laughs> Damn it! Just 
let me complete the fucking level. I just want to play the last, at least the last level's good. The last level's fun. This one is not. This is the fucking worst. It's so bad. It's so awful. And as well, I'm playing on normal difficulty, I should point out. Normal difficulty, which means I should be able to take a few hits, but there's just so much bullshit on screen. There's not really much I can do about it. Now, I'm invisible now. Let's use my powers of invisibility to walk past these enemies and maybe, maybe finish the game. It just put me... Oh my god, are you fucking having a giraffe? Is that where I've got to go? You can go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. No. No. No, I see it. I see the door. I see it. Open up, you big stupid fucking asshole. That is... Oh, no. Oh, it's this bit. Oh, go away, Cortana. I'm trying to rescue. I'm, I'm literally on my way. And you're still chatting all this bullshit. And our grave mind's talking to me great. And now I'm like, okay. Go towards the purple. The purple, purple means victory. I get really angry when I play this level. It's the worst. It's why I quit last time, because I was so drunk last time I played. Oh, fuck this. I remember what it is now. <sighs> oh, dearie me. I walk. And dodge. I'm not going to fight them. They haven't noticed me yet, for some reason. For some reason, the flood doesn't seem to give a shit, and I'm okay with that. For some reason, none of the flood seem to know where I am. I don't know what happened there. None of the flood knew I was there. Maybe they heard my pleas. Maybe they heard me just going, oh, come on, guys. Really? Like, okay, let him pass. Let him get caught on it. Fuck off, Grave Mind. I don't want to talk to you. I just want to rescue, like, Bay. Oh, the fuck. <sighs> I'll admit, the first time I played this, when I was, like, actually fighting my way through to rescue Cortana, that did have some emotional resonance, but right now, it's just pissing me off. The requisite three gun butts. That's impressive because, as far as I'm aware, there's not a single enemy in the game that can survive like a single gun butt if you get it in the right point, except for hunters, because they're obviously like super heavily armored. Oh, let's enjoy this wonderful story. And so much of me is wrong. Hello, oh, Carl. Nice. Nostalgia. Hey, Carl. Sit over here. Stop spelling my name wrong. Oh, and then you then you immediately <laughs> spelt it right. Okay, I apologize. Are you inside some creature? Is that why it's so fl No, it, the flood is just... I don't know what it is. I think it's some sort of weird spore that just takes over everything. Similar to... Oh, I'm trying to think. There's a comparable example. I'd say it's similar to like the necromorph um, infestation from Dead Space, where it just takes over any living um, biomass and then creates its own, like, biome to exist within by, like, like putting all its shelf across the walls. Yes, I said all its shelf. I'm slow in my words, it's fun. But now I've got my Cortana back. Thought I'd try shooting my way out. Right, at least this game understands up. that Cortana's awesome and that she should always be in your head talking to you. Because the whole silent pro tag thing doesn't really work if you haven't got all the characters to speak to you. There's two of us in here now. Oh yeah, let's get some more bourbon. Fuck yeah. It's not Jack Daniels. So uh, I can't afford Jack Daniels. It's um, Kentucky-style blended bourbon with a bison on it. So at least now I've got Cortana back, which is fun. And the f of course, the first thing that happens is I immediately get shit taught by Grave Mind. He's so salty. He's so salty that I got Cortana back. He's like mad salty that I don't have to actually fight him as a boss. If you'll notice, I've saved all my grenades and this rocket launcher because I am not fighting my way through this without rocket launchers and grenades. All right. So I don't think I've run straight back. If I recall, Cortana makes me blow something up. Yes. 
destroyed. The same way all Halo games end, that she wants me to blow up the base and then leave. I would really like the sword. The sword would be quite nice to have to start that chain reaction. Okay, let's go. Burn. Just, just burn. How about you two? <laughs> oh god, he's still alive! He was committed to murder, I respect that. Oh, he tried so hard. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Oh! No, Mr. Floody. You go away as well. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I tried to jump! And I must have liked to press right on the D-pad and then just like, put me off the edge just a little bit. Oh dearie me. Let's go get my sword back. Hello, Mr. Flood. I would like the sword. I don't want to... Oh no, I don't want to swap for cloaking. I want the sword. Can I pick up a sword? Can I pick up a sword? They've flipped it. Oh, they fucking have, they? they flipped the swords over. If that goes off the edge, I'm going to be so pissed off. There we go. Now I've got my sword in. You two can die. And there should be someone sneak up behind me. No. Oh, can I get him? Yeah, nailed it. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good at Halo. Oh no. As I throw a grenade off the edge and miss with... Oh my, this is the toughest flood that has ever existed. Count the sword strikes. How many was that? That was like, what, five? I've never seen an enemy take more than two of those. And that guy took five in a row. That was the hero flood. That was like the flood version of whatever they sent in before me. I hate the flood. You can have one too. Is that the explosion set off? Go away. Oh, now we have to throw grenades at these. Yeah, I did it. Something. Oh, fuck, I need more grenades. Oh, wait. That's why I remember carrying this. That's the strange thing about this game, because I remember to to a degree what I have to do which is why like, I instinctually thought okay I need to have the rocket launcher but I couldn't remember what I actually needed it for it was not until that moment oh yeah this is why I got the rocket launcher so I don't have to like run over there and do it I don't have to leave and go around oh, go away go away I'm just going to be invisible it's easier but this one you die you're the one that dies you're the one you're the reminder for the rest is that mine from earlier? Man, that thing's tough. Oh, sword battle. We've got to do this. Top 10 anime fights. Master Chief versus this piece of flood. Let's go. Whoa. Who else wants some? Obviously all of you. I just wanted a sick one-on-one -on -one sword battle. There we go. I won. I win. You saw. This one can die too. Whoa. I'm not going to do my... I'm going to make the mistake I always make when I've got the sword. And like sword slash that. I'm just going to walk. I really hope this is the way out, because if it's not, I am fucked. Okay, so I'm fucked. Unless the enemy... Oh no, oh, oh no, I can fight my way out, I can swing. I can swing. Master Chief, Master Chief always swings first. Okay, so now I'm lost. Or maybe I'm not. Is this the way out? Yes, it must be. I remember this. I remember, I'm getting... Like shades of where I'm supposed to go. Please don't tell me this is a dead end. If this is a dead end, immediately after I say I feel like I know where I'm going, but it's a dead end. I'm really gonna have to like pull some shit out on this last level of Halo. If I want to like, you know, cement my reputation so someone actually knows what this game is. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. I have nothing, I only have my sword. And one of them's got a good one of them had the handheld grin. What must put Look at that! Okay, I'm going to assume that I'm supposed to walk in the direction it's pointing me in, because otherwise, that's kind of unfair. Is it through here? Do I go through here, Halo? No. <laughs> this level <laughs> sucks so much fucking ass! Where do I go? Oh my god. I'm just going to walk this way. I'm going to walk towards the purple shit. The purple shit must be the way out. No, it's not. Fuck me. 
What about upstairs? I'm powered by explosions. The explosions are just facilitating my escape. Okay. Oh, so I'm, I walk past this. Okay, I remember. I walk past that. And I got shot in the back the entire time. There's those floods down there that I don't want to fight. I jumped over here. Walked down. I went down there and made a mistake. So this must be the way out. I'm just talk I'm talking loud to myself. It's the only way I can <laughs> get through this by like, you know, psyching myself up for this bullshit room where you get attacked by like every flood in the world at the same time. And I need a gun. I I really need a gun. Because I need to fight my way past like these fourteen pieces of flood. I need to concentrate. What did I get hit by? I don't know what it was, but it nearly killed me. Great. Right, fuck this. Made it. Oh, you bunch of losers. Fuck, come on. Come on, you want some. No! Fuck's sake! How? How is that fair? Oh, thank God. Thank God it spawns me here instead of back in, like... The terror zone. You go away. You go right the fuck away. You go away. Okay, so I think I found a gun that works. So they appear to just be like, instantly detonating the second they get hit by this. And he died. Yes. Getting closer. I'm so close to not having to play this level anymore. I'm really excited. I'm excited about the, like, the prospect of never having to play this level again. Because I'll tell you what, when I play this fight, you know, for fun, on my own time, when I'm with friends, we do not play this level. We skip this level because it sucks ass. Right, some of this stuff's starting to look a bit familiar. Okay, the big vagina stopped me. I shouldn't call that a big vagina. If your vagina looks like that, go to a doctor. She's got a problem. If your anus looks like that on the other hand, also go to a doctor, because that's also not healthy. Fuck you. I hate this place. <gasps> the anus of freedom. I've got a friendly contact. Who would be crazy enough to come in here? I wish you could hear what you were saying, Cortana, but unfortunately I forgot to put subtitles on. Just then I'm going to assume. Oh yes! <laughs> I'm sorry, wait a minute. I don't take a screenshot. Yeah! Oh, as he gets blown up. Fucking yes. Arbiter. Let's watch the Arbiter just fuck shit up. Do it, Arbiter. Do it. Oh, I'm so happy I've seen the Arbiter. I forgot that happened. That was like that was a genuine reaction because I completely forgot the Arbiter just arrives and just saves your ass with his flamethrower. Fucking Arbiter showing what for. Let's go. Let's leave. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh man. That was so cool. What a good ending. Look at him. He's so awesome. Yeah, my co-pilot. That was the best way that could end. Me just getting mad hype that I see the Arbiter with a flamethrower. So I absolutely adore the imagery of like elites using human weaponry because it's so adorable. Oh, grave mine. It's too bad you just suck at everything. Look at that concept art. I said it at the beginning. We're just flying away from concept art right now. So should we model this environment? Nah. Just dig at that drawing Jeff did and just like, you know, just put Master Chief's Pelican over top of it. That took me 30 minutes. I think the record for that or the part time to get the achievement is like 17. But I did get an achievement. I'm doing well. I got an achievement for finishing the level. I don't care. How do I go to the next level? How do I do that? Yes! Last level! This is the good one! I'm excited. I'm excited because this is the last level of Halo. This, this is the best mission. If you've never played a Halo game before, every last mission in Halo is exactly the same. It's just blow something up and you have to escape in a big dumb vehicle section. But how bad the vehicles control in this game always make them hilarious. I'm going to be drinking every time I fall off the edge. 
and I might actually run out of drink before I finish the fucking game. That's how bad I am at driving in Halo. Yeah, it's our fight avatar. He should be the main character. I love the avatar. Keith David's such a badass. Known hero of this earth, Keith David. Let's go, Johnson. This is the dream team right here. Cortana, the Arbiter, Master Chief and Sergeant Johnson. So they could form a Beatles cover band and they'd get more like album sales than the Beatles. I'd buy their album. That'd be great. Oh, it's all snowy. An environment we've not seen yet. Good parking, Master Chief. Solid. Though, to be fair, is this is a one-way trip. Halo. It's so new. I'm finished. I'm not exactly sure what will happen when we fire it. We'll head for the portal. Now we'll all go home. The one thing I'm kind of gutted about is that the Arbiter... Like, he sticks with you for a bit, but then he leaves about halfway through the mission. But fuck yeah! But first thing we've got to do is... I'm sorry, Arbiter, but I have to show people who might not know this is the thing you can do. Oh, damn it! I've run out of grenades. But, essentially, the Arbiter, as you saw, will jump away from any grenade, so you can just make him dive immediately off the edge. And it's quite funny. But let's fucking go. Look at him! He's so cool. He's so awesome. He's two little machine guns. Head little plasma guns. Let's go, Arbiter. I believe in you. This is it. This is the final stand. Oh, man, I'm kind of upset now. As much as much fun as I'm having streaming it, I kind of wish I could turn the volume all the way up and listen to the music that's playing right now. Because like, the soundtrack to this last mission is just spot on. It's definitely like up there for playlists that I'm going to play when I conceive my future children. It's right up there alongside the Jurassic Park theme and the Jurassic Park theme from the second movie when they remixed it a little bit. That and drum and bass Jurassic Park. Look that up, it's awesome. Also drum and bass uh, Antiques Roadshow. Also a good song. Probably think I'm taking the piss, I'm not. There's a friend of mine where whenever we go to his house and we have drinks, before we go out, we all play Antiques Roadshow drum and bass on our phones and then dance around the room in a circle while holding the phones in the air and turning the lights on and off really quick. I'm a fucking loser if it's not like, you know, come across by the fact I'm day drunk at half past six in the evening and playing Halo 3. And failing miserably, I should add. Oh, look at that, that. Quadruple kill. Overkill. Go away. It's like, the previous mission with the Flood, it's bullshit. And on Legendary, it is tough as balls. This mission is also tough as balls, but at least it's fair. Because if you really want to, on this level, you can stand all the way back. You can go get yourself a sniper rifle. You can get yourself, like, a BR. You can get yourself a carbine to the side. And you can, like, shoot all those enemies and then walk up safely. Like, that other level, you just get attacked from all directions at once by enemies you can't really fight. At least this one, it's nice and open. So when I die, it's my own fucking fault. I'm a bit annoyed that I had to spawn all the way back here, though. I thought I'd at least put a checkpoint and I saw what was going on. No footprints. Look at that. Master Chief's not like. The Arbiter's not leaving footprints, look. Like, Arbiter is secretly legless, confirmed. I love you, Arbiter. I wish you, like, Godspeed in your mission. Whatever gods, like, you stupid aliens worship, I, like, pray to them all. Because you are badass. Aww. I'm pretty sure as well, there is a way to, like,. Glitch jump all the way to the top of this thing. <laughs> oh, I am so, I am so taking that. Oh, Ooh. mercy! I accidentally hit the arbor. Oh yes, but I put my low health. So now, if you don't know, like if you've not been following this series, when the arbiter is on low health, he will pull out his plasma sword, and the arbiter with the plasma sword is the strongest fucking enemy in this game. He will defeat anything. You watch him. And he, every time he hits something, he punctuates it with just this giant ass war cry. Right, he's. Look at how many bullets the Arbiter's taking right now. 
And bear in mind how quickly I died all the times you've seen me die so far. And the Arbiter's like, now. Go on, get in there, Arbiter. I'm gonna let you do it. I'm just gonna let the Arbiter do this. This is his fight. Oh, look at him, he's doing a little stomp and everything. Doing a little tactical Say Wataneo stomp. Fuck him up, Arbiter. Go on. Ooh, that stomp is so good. I won't be surprised if this is like Captain Falcon knees to some of these floods. Fuck him up, Arbiter. Now do your stomp. Do the stomp. There it is. It's, oh, what a fucking badass. Look, look at him. How do you defeat this enemy? There is no defeating this man. <laughs> Can you guys hear his little war cries? I can hear them a little bit. I'm hoping the volume's mixed loud enough. I'm, I might put the volume up. Oh god, I'm gonna have to dodge. I'm gonna have to do some like some pro dodgers. While well, I put the volume up on the footage just for this bit, so we can just walk near the army. You can hear his war cries. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's I like as well how he holds the um, the little. Oh no, he's back! For fuck's sake. Get you. Wait a minute. If I hit him towards the enemy. He will bust his plasma sword back out. No, oh, no, he's leaving. Oh, he's back. Come on, come on, Arbiter. No, I don't, th I don't think he'll follow me to the top. I think he just stares at the top and he'll wait down here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'll turn him back now. But oh my god, no, it's like those little Arbiter war cries are amazing. I think I do have to now go up on me. Oh, he's following me. Shit, yeah. Are you coming out better? Take him out. There it is. <laughs> go on, Abba. Let's go. I'm just following him. This is like when you're in a nightclub and you're like someone picks a fight with you and you're there with your very large friend with a plasma sword. Do you want to keep pushing it forward? The Arbiter's coming with me. You're coming with me, Arbiter. I need you. Master Chief needs your help. I don't think he's going to come. Maybe I can make it on my own. But holy shit, did the Arbiter take out a lot of those flood. I don't... I'm really struggling to remember if he comes with me or not. Because he seems to be following me for a lot of this distance. And now I'm like questioning my own sanity of whether I have to do this mission alone. So I appear to have alien backup for like a significant portion of this climb. Go away. And this thing's awesome. How did the brutes lose this fight? No, I guess he's coming with him. Let's go, Arbiter. I believe in you. Please get out your plasma sword. It would really, really help. No! Harvey! Come back! Come back, I need you. Oh, that was a good shot, though. Maybe that's what kept happening to him. So I'm not sure if I'm remembering, but I do remember the Arbiter not helping me when I try to finish this level on my own. Maybe because I just threw him off the edge. Take him out, Arbiter. Ugh. Let's go. It's so cool. What an awesome design. Oh, can I do it? <laughs> Oh, I thought I blew it off the edge. Well, this is great. Why did I not realise how good the brute shot was taking out the flood? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Can I get a sentinel laser? Because these things are awesome. Where is he? Go on, Albert. Fuck him up. Oh god, oh god. What the hell? No. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. We cleared that area out. You all saw me clear that area out. We did it. And they all snuck up behind me. That's a lesson for me. Don't like dilly dally. No dilly dally shilly shally. Alright, Arbiter, I'm sorry that I'm going to have to shoot you, but. I would really appreciate if you like busted out your sick awesome plasma sword right now. So I'm going to shoot you a few times in the back of the head. Like, please bust out your plasma sword. It would really help. 
Right, which is again is another tactic when you try and play this thing on legendary. If you, whenever the arbiter is nearby, shoot him with a sniper rifle. Make sure the arbiter is always on low health because then he busts out his plasma sword and just fucks shit up. He's like basically completely invincible. And now I've got John. Oh, what? <laughs> How is it that the poster boy for this game is getting killed easier than his fucking sidekick? And when I say sidekick, I don't mean the Arbiter, because the Arbiter is nobody's fucking sidekick. I mean Johnson. Because if you look, Johnson's up on this ridge somewhere up here, helping with a Spartan laser. The thing is, well, you can also knock John. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> I don't know what I got hit by, but. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna try and knock Johnson off the edge, because you can do that, and it is quite funny. It's mean, but it's funny. So I keep an eye on Johnson. I got you covered, Chief. Yeah. Oh. Fun fact if you pick up that Spartan laser, it has infinite ammo. So when you play this like, thing co op, and when you're getting like obviously the uh, you try and do the final escape, you kill Johnson, steal his unlimited ammo, Spartan laser, give it to your teammate, and make sure they are riding shotgun, and then they've got an unlimited ammo Spartan laser to help you for like the last basically assault. I'm gonna walk past all these guys. Oh, he's back! Look. That's the annoying thing though, because you only get Johnson's support on one specific side of a level. For the rest of the level, you don't get it. Let's find a way past these bad boys. You can also kill these things and take their ammo. And it's one of the, I think the, the second place in the game you can get a spat, um, a sentinel laser. She's not a great weapon, but it's just a fun one to have because you can fire it directly up into the air. And when you're playing like with a co-op partner, you can signal for help by firing it directly into the sky. Right, Johnson, I could really do with some help right now, because I am down to six bullets. Oh my god, what a shot. What a fucking shot. Go on, Johnson. Look at him go. Hello. I'd appreciate some help, Gilly Spark. Oh, I guess the Arbiter did come with me. Thanks, Abba. You've really helped me out. This is like you are the MVP of this game. No, I'm very sorry, but I do have to injure you because this final assault is actually kind of ridiculous. So please bust out your sick awesome plasma sword and start doing what you do best, which is win. Right. I don't know. Do I need, I need to go and put some more. not appreciate how I'm getting shot. See, the flood wouldn't be as bad. If they were enemies that shot, that'd be fine. If they were enemies that used exclusively melee, that'd be fine. It's the combination of both, because it means like it's really difficult to avoid them completely when you're surrounded like this. Although I do have invincibility now, so that will come in very handy. Oh, right in the leg. On the arm. So now I'm invincible, so I'm just glowing. Glowing with like, you know, sexual Master Chief energy. In my head there, I had to make a choice between what would be more embarrassing? Standing up and having just footage what? of me that leaving guilty spark. Oh, no, it's my little turret. Or footage of me. You only get these that, at this like, point you know, in the game as well, and it's kind of These things are I cool. made my choice and I These things are fucking it. awesome. I want that all the time. Right. And you don't get any more player. They're not a thing you can get in more player. Literally every other weapon and item in the game can. Literally. These things here are such a good part of It's a bit like, like portable, like, like mega turrets. That's like, whoa! Look at these combat rolls, man. Let's go out. And he looks at me as if to say, are you Let's fucking kidding me, Master? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I even... <laughs> oh, oh. That. That a little over the, the shoulder glance. Yeah. I've been drinking all As if to say, right, Master Chief, are you kidding me? That guy just spawned. Johnson just spawned in. You all saw it. You all saw him spawn. Johnson's got magic ghost powers confirmed. Build itself on this ring. Oh, there we go. This had infinite ammo. <laughs> That's why I did that. Like Johnson, as much as I appreciate you having that, I want it more. So I now have an infinite ammo Spartan laser, aka the best weapon in the entire game.
Look at that fucking album cover. Now, if you were in a band and you want me to buy your albums, put that on the front. Put, like, Halo Man, like, Black Dude with the Giant Ass Laser and Super Cool Alien with a Machine Gun, and I will buy that shit immediately. Spoilers. Oh, hello. Johnson is not making it out of this one. Installation is almost complete. Terrific. Yes, isn't it? I have begun my simulations. No promises. I don't have much to say because I actually quite sad that Johnson dies. <laughs> I fucking love his character. He's so awesome. Have a few more days. But a premature firing will destroy the arc. Deal with it. We destroy this installation. Guilty Spark is such a fucking douchebag. Bear in mind as well, you saw Johnson earlier shrug off like a rocket launch around, and then he spawned back. That killed him. So Guilty Spark was pretty badass. Oh no, Arbiter! Just me and you now, Guilty Spark. It's just me and you. Just you, a tiny robot with a laser, and me, a giant ass man with an infinite laser! Things like you can find Johnson and he gives you his Spartan laser. But I've already got his Spartan laser. I take no pleasure in doing what must be done. It's also kind of annoying as well, this is the only fucking boss fight in the entire game. And it is just shoot like this is literal target practice. It's just shoot this thing. Yeah! Fuck him up, Johnson. Oh, ordinarily, like if I was being like the usual, like, you know, fatuous asshole that I am, I'd like teabag his body and like throw it off the edge. But I'm not gonna do that because this is Sergeant Goddamn Fucking Johnson. He's a goddamn hero, and I'm actually kind of annoyed that he just ragdolls immediately. That shouldn't happen to him. Oh, now I can actually do some damage to him. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're looking a bit worse for there. Worse for wear there, Guilty Spark. Oh, and he's dead. Activate Halo. Activate this Minority Report console. Look at this goddamn fucking hero. Poor one out. He's up there right now. I'm with Paul Walker. No, no. I can see right up his nose and it's not rendered. See, what Master Chief should do now is he should like get him over his shoulders and F5 him. Send me out. Essentially what Johnson just told me to do there is blow up this entire fucking station because I want my death to be marked by the most sick awesome explosion the universe has ever experienced. Go on Cortana. Chief, I'm so sorry. I don't know why they bother making sequels to this game. Instead of prequels where you control Sergeant Johnson. Because I would love, like, ODST was great. I want to see, like, a prequel where you play as Johnson. Obviously, you've got to have his infinite rocket launcher at the same time. And his infinite Spartan laser. Yeah! Look at that screenshot. It's kind of annoying as well. You see, like, if you look there, you saw Sergeant Johnson's body sliding off the edge. I just feel like it's kind. Of, it's like, as much as I love the, this game, that's kind of disrespectful. Like, you just see his body just slide off the edge. It's like, did you really need to show that? Like, you just got like his like you know his send off. Oh no, I lost my Spartan laser. Fuck's sake! I've got to do it with fucking this thing instead. Go on. Oh, he's got two now. Go on. Pew, 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 pew. Let's go, Arthur. Me and you, together. Or not. Right, you fight him off, I'll keep going. So now here comes the choice, though. What do I escape Halo on? Because there are, like, three different vehicles up here that you can choose to escape in. 
And I'm I'm not sure what I want to do it in because like you get a choice. I think it's a mongoose, a warthog, and the warthog's what it's intending you to do it in. And I believe there are four ghosts sat on the side, and that's for when you do the there's an achievement for if you play this final mission on legendary, you don't die, and you all escape in ghosts because there are four ghosts, and that is the most annoying thing I have ever done. I just got killed by a sentinel. Oh shit, the Sentinels are against me now, I forgot that. So why is the Sentinel attack? Oh yeah, because I killed Guilty Spark. And the, doing it in the ghosts, like... Escaping on the ghosts is fair enough. When there's four of you, and you're doing it on Legendary, and you're only allowed to die once, and you've got to restart the entire goddamn mission, it gets real old, real fucking fast. And I have must have done that about... six or seven times, to get the achievement for all of my friends who are like, okay, us four have done it, and we get the th like three of us will stay in. We'll get the one person who hasn't done it, and they'll join the group. And then, now we'll do that. And oh my god, did that shit get all fast? <laughs> the university that was like basically a week of us just spending it, like just basically changing over. Okay, who wants the achievement next? Because I think it's the only way to get one of the special helmets for multiplayer. Oh, what bitch went down? Oh, who else wants some? Well, it's not some of this. Like, Master Chief is like, got rage on now. He's angry, he saw his friend die. I'm not even about fighting you. Your lasers suck. I might do it on a ghost. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do I really have to fight my way through this? If I'm going to fight my way through this, I'm doing it with the spam. I'm doing all these things. Might as well show off the gun that I haven't showed off yet. Yeah, let's go. Dun. This thing's awesome. You don't get this in multiplayer either. Now I can see why, because obviously it's a hit scan weapon that has like does crazy damage and hits across the map, but it's Is that any worse than a sniper rifle? If you don't recognise this hallway, this is the hallway from Halo 1. Like you see this hallway a lot in Halo 1. Which is why I assume this would be the last Halo game, because obviously it comes full circle. Kind of like, you know, some sort of ringed thing that goes in a circle and then comes back, like, starts at one end and then comes back and starts at the end it began in. Because that's why this game, you know, ends yeah, with Master Chief going back hard. to sleep, because like, you'll see. But then they fought maybe four more. So you're supposed to escape in this thing. I'm not going to escape in that. I'm going to go see if the ghosts are here. So they may only spawn on legendary or when you've got multiple players. So we'll find out when I fall off the edge of the map and have to go back and get that. <laughs> I wonder where the Arbiter is. If the Arbiter just rocks up in the walk now, I'm going to be so impressed. Because my memory is, is quite good, but it's also kind of hazy. And Drive, Chief. Head for the frigate. I'm pretty sure there should be some ghosts around here. And if there aren't, I'm going to have to jump off the edge and kill myself. Because otherwise you can't complete this level. So, if you can help, if you see, if you see them, if you see the ghosts, just let me know. Because they're not here so far, and I'm getting kind of worried now that I may have made a terrible, terrible mistake. And I might be misremembering they only appear when you're playing with four players. Because this bit's time limited as well. I think the longer you wait, the more of the racetrack you have to go along to escape the level, which collapses. So I'm really hoping there's a ghost around this corner. Otherwise, I'm going to try to do this shit on foot. Oh, where's the ghost? There's got to be a ghost. Where are you, ghosts? Where you at? Oh no, I might have. Oh god, I might have fucked this up. So I might have to do a drink already because I've already fucked up and not been able to find the ghosts. Oh dearie me. I guess I'm doing it in the Warthog. Oh fuck! Oh no! Oh god, I've got to walk all the way back up and get it. Oh jeez. Oh, I better make sure I do this bit perfect then. Oh no, this better not be it. I may have fucked it here, lads. 
have to crouch jump my way. And I'm missing like the sick awesome soundtrack. I'm gonna turn the soundtrack up for you guys. Let's turn the footage volume up a bit. Let me know if you can hear the soundtrack. The dawn is close. We can make it. As long as the ground doesn't fall out beneath us. I don't know where the warthog is. Oh there it is! Yeah! And the arbor was waiting here. So Arbiter, let's fucking go. Come on, Spartan, go! go he go. spawned in, he knows. Okay. Can you hear the soundtrack? Is the, is the soundtrack working? Can you hear the sick awesome soundtracks? I'm gonna do terribly with goddamn. Does that like never fail to get me like mad high? Just hearing that like it's that da -da -da -da. charging sequence. I need to concentrate now because I am terrible at driving in the water. And this bit is like surprisingly difficult if you can't remember where everything is. Also, I'm drink driving now, technically. Let's go, Arbiter. Fuck yeah. Shoot them, Arbiter. Shoot everything. Kill everything. I want everything dead. I'm not buying any of this. Do the jump. Let's go. Halo's <laughs> I have done that before and landed on a panel that was falling off, and there was literally nothing I could have done. And you know what? I accepted it because I thought I should try that. And this is where just shit starts to get up, like fall apart. Literally, because some of those panels can just knock you off course, and there's nothing you can do about it. Same as like some of these enemies can jump in front of you. Because the way the physics work when you hit enemies, you will just fly off the edge, and it's great. Hurry, it's actually kind of amazing. Stop. No! No! The Arbor and the Master Chief will die together. I appreciate how long it lets you fall before that happens, because that's kind of great. Yes, you can hear the music! Fantastic! I'll just have to talk louder. I'm, like, editing the levels after this is going to be an absolute bitch. And I can't wait. Let's try this jump again. Let's go. Arbiter, do this sick jump. Oh, yeah. 360. You all saw it. <laughs> then the Arbiter is just getting like, could this be any more metal? You have got an awesome alien spinning around in a minigun, being hit by lasers from every direction at once. That's great. But now imagine we try to do this and there's four ghosts. And obviously when you're like you're playing and you've got four people, you've always got that one arsehole which has to knock everyone else Hurry, off the level. Don't that stop. happened too much when we played this. Usually it was me. Because I was always the person when we got to the very last jump, didn't boost, so we always like went off the edge and died. And that's that again. Because I quite like it a bit. Oh. You edit the answer, we've got this. Let's do this jump. Let's do another 360 to look cool. No! No! We failed to look cool. I didn't have enough speed. Oh, no. So that's my last bit of booze. So, I'm just drink driving now. I do distinctly recall as well, a friend of mine we tried to do his mission on show like shits and giggles. You gotta do the business. If you're not doing a 360, right, you're not even playing this game properly. What he did is on the very final jump, which you'll see there's a big ass giant jump right at the very end that you have to do. He jumped out of the water at the last second because he timed it. So his character landed on the last jump you have to make, but my character in the water fell off the edge, so I didn't get the achievement. Because technically, I didn't make it and he did. Because my character model fell off the edge when the cutscene started, and like, it was fucking great. Hey, Chief, don't stop. Don't stop. That's right. That's right. You I appreciate how he's just shooting because he's like, fuck this. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down taking out these blood. I'm going to make it. So good. Fuck yes. I like as well if you fall out of your warthog and somehow make it on foot. I'm pretty sure more warthogs spawn at these locations, so you can actually, you know, complete the level. Every now and again, it's like there's a, there's a random warthog appears. 
360. Yeah. That's like the Halo version of 360 no scope. Ah, but please, just keep firing. Keep firing because, like, mate, we've got a long way to go. And I need your help. Let's go out. It's the final, the final jump's not yet out. We've got one more bit to go through and there's one big final jump. And that's the jump where I'm going to try and do, like, I'm going to roll this bitch. start doing it because it looks so shit. I have to do it. So this is the last one we go. The last corridor and then a big ass jump at the end of it. <laughs> also, I think if you're getting the audio, you can be beeping them on. Beeping them on. Oh, fuck no! I crashed. Bollocks to it. Fuck you, Flood. You can stay there. You can all just like... I'm not even going to shoot you. Because I know you're going to die in the giant ass explosion. One last 360. Final jump's coming up, so I need to pick up as much speed as possible because there are things that can happen that can stop you from pulling this off. And they are hilarious, but also not hilarious. You need to do the jump. Again. Let's try and concentrate. But also do 360. I appreciate it as well, it's a straight line. Like this, you know, this ancient forerunner construct still has like you no know, roads for this big vehicle that couldn't possibly comprehend existing a million years in the future. Oh no, we've got one more. Oh yeah, because there it is. There's the, uh, I forget what it's called. Spirit of Fire Maiden. Oh, so that means I get one more 360. Take out these. Just fuck them up. Fuck them up out there. Uh, also, I'm not going to go to it, but that's where the secret grunt is. He's over there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, basically, there's a grunt you can walk if you get out of your vehicle and you go over to that ledge that I was looking at um, on foot. There's a grunt who basically can't comprehend what's happening and he has unique dialogue depending on when exactly you are playing the game, like on what difficulty it is. And he'll, be, um, he'll either like, acknowledge your presence or just scream about the fact he's going to die. But I'm not going to do that today because I feel like I'm I've not died yet. I've got no drink left. And I said I'd drink every time I did it. And I don't want to have to go downstairs and get more things. There it is. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. No! Oh! That's not fair. That's not fair at all. No! Thank God I can just drive through that. Here we go. One last 360. Come on, get all the speed. All the speed, Master Chief. Yeah! Ooh, I did it! Fuck yeah! Roll that bitch. Nailed it. Oh, I'm tired. I have only sick parkour skills, you all saw it. I love that nod. That's the, that's the nod of acknowledgement of let's fucking do this. That, that's the thing you do when you bump into somewhere in a nightclub that you know we don't want to talk to and you look at me and just go. And they do it straight and they look at you and they go. Go on. No, Master Chief! Chief! So I feel like at this point, what you should do is you should climb into a tank and then be able to start fighting the tank in mid-air. Try to take shit out. Go on, Master Chief. You've got this. I believe in you. How does the Albert and I drive this? If we don't make it, we'll make it. I'll bet ten of oh. That's the only person who ever calls him John. Like John like one one seven. It's the only person who ever refers to him by his actual name. Everyone just calls him by his rank otherwise. And as cool as Master Chief sounds, I find it's like isn't that kind of insulting that no one ever calls Master Chief by his name? 
Then we may as well watch the epilogue. Yeah, I've got an achievement. 8.95% of people got this. For us. Oh, God, that guy's hair is not rendered. The war is over. That hair is not rendered. At all. Those who journeyed into that there he is. Look, there's Sergeant Johnson in the top right. Look at him. He's just appeared now. What a badass. For their decision required courage beyond measure. Sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their Do you really need binoculars to watch that, mate? Our fight. It's like a four mile long ship crashing into the ocean. Yes! Why is the armor not taking off like his weird armor? Well, like, that thing's like grafted onto his skin or some shit. The hillside will remain barren. A memorial to heroes fall. They ennobled all of us. Who's the voice of Lord Hall? That sounds like Clancy Brown a bit. So what a good ending for a game. What a fitting ending for a video game. Now, all the soldiers you fought alongside and the elites, they're all teaming up. And they're all like, you know what, what a bunch of badasses. Go on, Albert. Talk about how big my dick was. This war started when your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you. But you have my thanks. For standing by him to the end. Yeah. That's another album cover. Pull that as your album cover. The ladies did. Giant ass alien shaking hands with like man in military it's uniform. So easy. Like as well, it's like, you know, this memorial to the dead. That guy like takes that one last opportunity to take a swipe at the elite saying, Oh, you were tattles first. So oh yes, Lord Hood, guy who was going to sacrifice like all of like a single country to fight the Covenant. Things look different. Without the prophet's lies, cloud Cost we get one last look at this. That fucking idiot, he's the best. I want a game with those two. I don't want like a sequel with Master Chief. I want that guy on screen right now. Like Shipmaster is such a fucking badass. Take us home. That should have been the sequel. The sequel should have been like the you play as the elites and Master Chief helps you. So that would be fitting, like, so at the end of this one, you know, the elites help the humans, so then, like, their greatest hero helps. Oh, look at that, 117. See, what they should do, they should get Master Chief's cross, and they should turn it on its side, so it becomes a big X. And that's what they should do. Ooh, do we get the secret epilogue? I don't think we will. Maybe we will. Because there's another ending after this, but I think you only get it if you complete the game of Legendary. Which we might not actually Chief, get. Oh no, we do. Can you hear me? Maybe it's just extended in the yes, Legendary Edition. Or the Legendary but Legendary difficulty, I should say. Master Chief's alive. As you probably guessed by the fact it was a Halo 4 and 5. One of which is on this fucking disc. Well, Master Chief survived. They never went looking for him. They just immediately assumed he was dead, even though he once fell from <laughs> orbit and survived. Sure. So it just left him to die. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces. I appreciate you might get a gun as well. Like he's floating around in the dead of space, but he needs that gun. Also, what's that torch supposed to do? Is that torch really going to help? Some of us made it. Oh, it's floating out in the ether. What are you thinking, Master Chief? What are you doing? You silly sausage. Where are you going now? It's weird there was no zero-G section in this game, considering how much of it takes place in space. Maybe it's like a limitation of the engine, but I feel like that's a misstep. Truth? Not to have, at the very least, like a low-gravity section. Which I think they do in Halo 4, but it sucks. So like you can throw your grenades a little bit further. Or they don't have, like, gravities with different... Or planets with different gravity. Years even. For anyone, if you can't remember Halo 1, it, it starts with Master Chief being woken up from one of these pods, and Halo 3 ends with Master Chief going to sleep in one of these pods. So that's what a good ending for like a trilogy, where it starts the way it ends, comes full circle, kind of like a Halo. 
But in my head, the way I think about that is, so Master Chief woke up from one of these pods, saved the universe three fucking times, killed like an untold amount of aliens and went back to sleep. So my theory is Halo 1, 2 and 3 all take place within the span of a single day. And that's just Master Chief going to sleep to wake up tomorrow. That's my theory anyway. Is that the end? Is that, is that as done? Yeah, ruin it by putting up Master Chief Collection instead of, you know, Halo 3, the game was completed. And that's Halo fucking 3.